All right, let's face it. There's been a whole lot of cooking at mm -hmm. home the last several months, and you're probably been making the same meals over and <laughs> over and over. Well, time to put an end to that. All right, we're here to change that. Since the pandemic started, our partners at All Recipes have seen a huge spike in recipes for canned fish, like tuna and salmon. The vegan's not All into right, it. Here's Michelle Edelbaum <laughs> with some of their top picks. One of the great things about canned tuna and salmon is that you can really use them in interchangeably in almost any recipe. So that's a great thing depending on what you have at home and what you like. And obviously the most basic thing is tuna salad. And you can take your tuna salad to the next level with all recipes, Barbie's tuna salad recipe. This recipe, it comes from a caterer who said it was one of her most requested recipes. And it's got a little bit of a twist. It, it does use some pantry seasonings like herbs and spices, but it has kind of a secret ingredient. It uses curry, curry powder, and actually relish and Parmesan cheese to kick it up a notch. And some of the reviewers said it was the best tuna salad they'd ever had. Another great thing to do with um, canned fish is to make like a fish and rice bowl. So All Recipes Chef John has a recipe for a spicy tuna rice bowl and it uses about equal parts of tuna and rice so it's really satisfying and he said that some people might think it's sort of like a fried rice because it uses um, a bunch of veggies and the rice and the tuna all mixed in this really delicious sauce so that's a great way to kind of dress up canned fish and would that be served hot or cold you could serve it either way if you served it hot it would be like fried rice if you served it cold it would be more like a rice salad um, All Recipes has a really delicious recipe for yummy lemon salmon patties. You just use a binder, so you're going to make a patty like um, eggs and breadcrumbs, some dried seasonings, lemon juice, and you just form them into patties, pan fry them on the stove, and then put a creamy sauce on top, like a tartar sauce or just something you can make with like mayonnaise and, and um, sour cream or pickles or something like that. And they're really delicious either on a bun or over greens. You could do the same thing with canned tuna, actually. The salmon loaf, it's kind of like a meatloaf, but salmon. And so again, you do just what you would do in a meatloaf. You combine it with those, those binders like breadcrumbs and eggs and a little bit of seasoning, maybe some chopped onion or pepper, and then form it into a loaf. It's maybe not the best looking recipe, but what it lacks for in looks, it makes up for in taste. And this is another one that's great served with tartar sauce or cocktail sauce on the side. Apparently, that recipe is not only healthy, it's easy too. So win-win. Perfect. All right. Cook it up today. <laughs>